All right, hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be taking a look at Mega Aquarium. This is an aquarium tycoon game or management simulator that just released on Steam. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm just gonna play the tutorial level. This will just give you a good sense of what to expect from the game and the basic controls and so forth. There we go, and done. So the first objectives are completed. And now we need to build our fish tanks. We'll put some fish in here. Let's go ahead and build some basic water filters heaters. This will make it so the fish don't die. Now we can uh, make our first fish, the Azure. I cannot pronounce that at all, but they look pretty. There we go. Add some decorations to the tanks. And of course you unlock a lot more things later on in the game. And then we'll add our pellet dispensers, which is the fish food, and the tool stations in case anything breaks down. And we'll hire our first employee and then we'll open our aquarium. As you can see, the first customer has arrived. The entrance fee currently is extremely expensive. It says it's it's $35 an entrance fee, which is pretty crazy. I don't know of too many aquariums that cost that much, but uh, there we have it. As you can see, Anna is going back and forth and feeding the fish on her own. You don't really have to uh, manage them or do anything. And uh, yeah, we have our nice little simple aquarium that costs way too much to get in. <laughs> You also earn various rewards based off how well the uh, the customers like the exhibit, and the more the more you differentiate the um, aquarium, the more rewards you'll get, and you'll level up faster and unlock new rewards. So we just unlocked a new fish. So let's go ahead and complete some more objectives. It says expand your floor space. So let's go ahead and make our, our aquarium bigger. There we go. That's nice. And then we're just gonna make some uh, bigger fish tanks. I guess we'll put one like right here. And let's go ahead and populate that with a bunch of our new fish. Actually, we need to build some air filters first. We can build that. And our basic heaters. Um, yeah, just make it simple. You unlock different types of heaters and filters later on. It's not always the same. There we go. I'm gonna put six in there. We need to practice moving a tank. You can move anything you place and you can rearrange anything at any time. So maybe I wanna put this in the back instead of putting it in the middle. But that doesn't work because the filter is blocked. So that means if it ever breaks, the um, the employees won't be able to get to it. So maybe I can just put it there. Yeah, that looks fine. And, oh, that's blocked too. <laughs> All right, there we go. And uh, let's see, let's put some decorations in there. Always nice to have a couple decorations. There we go. And we need to build our next fish. So as you unlock new fish, they'll have different requirements. This fish, uh, for example, needs to be in a group of at least four. So we're gonna have to build like a new fish tank and put at least four of them in the tank. So let's go ahead and build another one. There we go. Good stuff. Add decorations. Four of these in here. There we go. That's done. Hooray! And we are ranking up and unlocking all sorts of good stuff. Rank up. And as you can see, we unlock some new things. So a staff door, a combine mini, which is basically a mixture between a filter and a heater. And we have a driftwood cave, which we'll need later on. And then here is a new fish. All right, so we'll start researching that new fish. Won't take very long at all. And let's go ahead and build a like storage room for our employees. And I'm sure you can notice just from me playing this that the controls are extremely easy. Um, it's very fluid. I love how easy it is to find everything. Very, very simple. Um, a lot of management games make things way too complicated and uh, it really doesn't need to be. So let's go ahead and put this over here, up the tool station in the corner. So put that nice there. Okay, so now my employees will go back there if they need food or if they need tools. And uh, let's see, what else do we need? We need to unlock the new fish, which is gonna happen eventually as we gain the uh, research points from the customers. What else do we need? I guess that's it. So now we're just waiting. We could combine some fish together, so let's do that. Or we could add some more fish. I'm pretty sure um, customers like it when you mix different types of fish together. Um, they also like it whenever there's more than just one or two fish, so like large amounts of fish in the tanks. 
And of course there is different fish tanks later on in the game. As you progress you unlock so many different uh, things and you can make your uh, aquarium pretty large and pretty elaborate. Alright, so we're on day three. We've almost finished researching the new fish. We should probably make another tank for it. That new machine, it only um, it only takes up one square instead of having two squares. There we go. And so the new fish, it says it is a wimp and cannot be housed with a bully. We'll just put those over here then. And that should be good. Meet all requirements of king. Blah blah blah. What is that? Uh oh. I guess we didn't meet all the requirements. What's other requirements? Are these bullies? Oh, the air quality isn't good enough. That's bad. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the game real quick. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna move, yeah, let's move this heater out of the way. I'm just gonna put this, oh wait, I can't even place that anywhere. I guess we'll have to sell it. So let's go ahead and sell this heater. I don't really need it. I could have put it over here, but I'm gonna put a combine mini here. It seems like there wasn't enough air, uh, water filtering and that'll complete the objective. And now we're on the next objectives. Alright, so now we're researching the next fish. We have this nice open tank. Could fill it with some fish, but we're just gonna wait for a second. Uh, same thing's happening over here, so let's go ahead and get rid of the heater. And we're gonna go ahead and put the combine. There we go. If you fill a big fish tank all the way to max on this first level, um, a simple filter won't be able to filter the water effectively, so you're gonna have to build uh, multiple filters. Alright, so it's basically just a simple little aquarium, and they're just looking at the different fish. Kind of looks like a like a fish store. It looks like people should be able to buy the fish. That'd be kind of an interesting mechanic. I'm not sure if that's later on in the game, but it would be neat if you could actually sell the fish to customers. I sort of wonder how uh, elaborate the fish get as well. Like, can you make shark tanks? I'm sure you can. Yeah, we're just waiting for the research points. There's really not a whole lot we can do at the moment besides, I guess, fill up our tanks with more fish. I guess we can put these guys over here. Hopefully that doesn't ruin the air in the water. Yeah, that's fine. That's all good. Sweet. I'm gonna keep this fish tank open just for the next fish, just so I have uh, some uh, space to work with. Later on, you're gonna have to meet the uh, customer's needs. I think the first one is to build some benches for when they get tired, because they're super lazy and they have to sit all the time. Yeah, just waiting a couple more seconds. The new fish. So this new fish is a bully and will pester the whip. So I can't combine the Arabian with the king. So we have to build these in our own fish tank. Which is fine. And now we unlock a new fish and we'll build that momentarily. Let's go and build some decorations, I guess. Everyone likes seeing rocks, don't they? <laughs> rocks in the corner. Let's just see lettuce, whatever. We have plenty of money currently. Later on in the game, whenever you're actually managing uh, the whole thing, you have to sort of keep track of what you're spending money on and how many customers are coming in the doors and how much money you're making and so forth. And it really becomes a uh, more of a uh, economy tycoon. Yeah, just waiting on the next fish now. We'll probably expand our, uh, our aquarium a little bit. Maybe we can go this way. Let's go ahead and do that while we're waiting. And I might put a staff door there, just so people don't go there yet. Because otherwise, they, they, they tend to wander around and you don't get any points when they're not looking at the fish. So you want to keep them in a confined space so that they look at the fish as much as possible. So we're going to go ahead and hire our next employee, because it seems like Anna's having trouble feeding everybody. There we go. And I think the next, yeah, the next uh, fish requires a different type of food. So we're gonna go ahead and build that first. I'm gonna go ahead and put our fish, a new fish, the yellow tang. And it also requires some plants. All right. Black bar swordfish. There we 
go. And I might be able to put one more fish in there. There's also like a space requirement. Some fish are bigger than others. So I guess we can put a little pressure in here as well. Just filling it up to max. Oh man, that guy gave a bunch of points. I guess he really liked the combination of fish in there. There's three different types in this one. Okay, so we're just waiting for the black bar. Black black bar soldier fish. <laughs> we're gonna need to build a uh, cave for this one. And the tank cannot have any lights attached, so this is like a, a fish that likes to be in the dark. So we're gonna need to uh, build another tank and do all that good stuff. New animals on the <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and build that over here. How do I want to do this? I might actually expand this a little bit more because it seems a little confined. There we go. Alright, so we need to build these driftwood caves. And that will allow us to build the soldier fish. Probably just put a bunch in there. If your guest is grown tired, we need to build some benches. Alright. So what I like to do on this first stage, let's go ahead and pause the game for a second. Let's go ahead and build benches. I like to put them in like the middle of the place. Because as you can see there's like a, a walkway here. So this will give them plenty of room to um, to sit. I'm sort of wondering if I should uh I should probably move this. There we go. Now they have three benches in the middle of the place. If they're feeling lazy, everyone's going to have to look at them in the middle of the, of the store. Alright, so what else am I doing? So now I'm at the end of the tutorial level, so I'm just waiting for three minutes and 30 seconds, and I need to earn 80 V points. So I'm probably just going to put some more fish in some of these tanks, and we can put some more soldier fish in here. There we go. Is there anyone else in the floor? I guess we can put, um... Let's put two kings in here. There we go. Sweet. Oh, I see. I just realized in every tank there's this green little loop thing that basically tells you, like, how much... how much research points you're getting, or how uh, rewarding it is for the people who view it. So it's kind of cool. So your higher level fish tanks obviously give you more stars, more points. Oh yeah, by the way, I completely forgot that I need to delete this door. <laughs> now that now the uh, customers can actually go in there and see that tank. I was wondering why they weren't going in there. And we could obviously build some more tanks if we want. Hmm. Kind of wonder if it'll be worth it. Yeah, just go ahead and build a little one. Now yeah, we can put some, I guess we'll put like, some mixture of fish. One of those. Uh, this one. These. And then this. Can we put four of these in there? Yeah, that's too big. I'm just gonna mix a bunch of fish together. I guess that's it. Did I put a blue fish in there? I think so. I'll just put one of those. Have some decorations. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know, I just find this to be a very, very relaxing game. It's very simple but charming at the same time. I don't know, I just find it to be a really nice little experience. And it looks like that person actually didn't like that fish tank. I don't know why, but I actually got a negative research point. He just like came over and just like, no, those fish suck. Uh oh. I need to build more. Uh, crap. Let's hire another employee. And let's do that. And let's also um, 
need to fix some of our stations. This one doesn't have enough air filter. And this one doesn't have enough air filter either. There we go. And some of the uh, machines have broken down. I don't know what my employees are doing. This one's getting fixed. But my other employees, where the heck are they? I'm just walking around. What are you doing? Fix the tanks! Oh, I guess Anna's doing all the work. The other employees are just being lazy. You can actually change the priority of what the employees are doing. You can fire them or you can uh, create a zone for them so they're not always walking around aimlessly. But yeah, I think I need to fix the tank over here. It doesn't seem to be working out very well. <laughs> have space in the other tanks. Oh, and this tank needs another sea lettuce. We we'll just put sea lettuce everywhere. Why not? So it seems like this tank is not doing so well. These, both these tanks, like, people don't want to come over there for some reason. Alright, so now all the fish are being fed. Yeah, I'm still learning the game mechanics. I really don't know, um, like, the best combination of how you're supposed to uh, mix fish together or whatever. But there is, like, it seems like people really like this fish, but it's a bully. So I guess we can put that type of fish in here. I wonder if you can kill fish. I don't really know how to get fish out of the tank. Invalid placement. Is there no way to kill the fish? Oh, we can sell the whole tank and its contents. You would think that would piss off all the customers, just killing all the fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this tank a little bit. I think I can make it a little better. I'm gonna put these guys. There we go. Three meat fish. There we go. Now people like that tank a little bit better. <laughs> people really seem to like this tank over here for whatever reason. Like, you get so many points. I have no idea why. It's the only tank that, that happens. Alright, so I've earned 85, um, I don't know what these are, achievement points or whatever, and now I just have to wait three minutes for this to end. So I think I can fast forward this. Yeah. Just go ahead and fast forward it. There's really not a whole lot more for us to do. In the later missions, we'll be able to level up more and um, earn more stuff. Seems like some of the people have having trouble getting through this one by one door. So maybe I can uh, I just destroy them all. Make it easier for them to uh, get in now. It doesn't seem like customers can um, collide with each other. So you sort of have to make it open enough for everyone to be able to view all the tanks. So I guess it would be better to have just like a big tank in the middle of the store so that people can view it from different angles. In about like 30 seconds or so, we'll finish the tutorial level. You can actually expand this as large as you want, as long as you have one to do so. But yeah, super charming game. Love the graphics, love the music. I love how simple it is, too. You win! Hooray! Okay, so now we can actually leave. I'll show you the beginning of the next level as well. I'm not going to go into it, but I just want to show you that there's more to it. It's not just um, building your own. So, welcome to Northwoods. You've been tasked with refurbishing this old aquarium. It already has several tanks and some decorations and even a couple of surviving fish. The aquarium has a healthy source of ecology points, and these only unlock new animals to unlock other things. We need science points. Science points are used to unlock new pieces of equipment, tanks, and facilities for your guests. All right, so as you can see on this level, we are taking over a, um, a store from someone else. And it's kind of neat because there's, there's like these thin walls and uh, 
there's some tanks that are already built and they look a little different. And it uh, looks like there's some barrel decoration. I guess you decorate this door as well. So uh, yeah, you basically just keep going and there's all sorts of different objectives. Then later on you just build your own and uh, you do whatever you like. So uh, overall, I think it's a great game, very charming. If you're into Tycoon games, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. Make Aquarium, you can find it on Steam. I'll have a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.